Hello clients. In this video, I am gonna show you the quick overview of the web store app I have developed using Ionic 4 and Angular. First, I will show you the progressive web app mode in web browser and then I will show you how it should look like on Android and iOS devices using Google Chrome browser simulator. This app uses WordPress and WooCommerce as backend and is ready to integrate with any WordPress and WooCommerce based website. Using Cordova, we can generate native Android and iOS apps from a single code base. No additional work or programming needed, just a matter of a few commands from terminal. This is the code structure of the project. These are the pages, these are the services, and this one is called app routing module that defines URL and navigations. Okay, let's go back to the browser and check how the app works. Okay, this is home page. If you click on products, it will load all the products of the store. Clicking on a product will bring the detailed view of the product. Here there is a cart icon with counter. We have no item in cart right now, so it's zero. Clicking on categories brings all the category here and if we click on any category it will pull all the products under that category and clicking on products simply takes it to detail view of the product tags these are the tags and if you click on a specific tag it will pull all the product related to tag and click on a product takes to detail view of the product now if you go to my account or card page checkout or order page it will always prompt you to login because this page are guarded by auth guard and you need to login to view the content so let's log in first we can sign up as a new customer but i am skipping this part for quick overview sign in okay we are signed in and redirected to the product page now let's add some product into cart and go to cart page and checkout page and place an order so this one if you click on add to card it has added to card and if you click it again it will say item already exist that means you can add a product into card only once there is no duplication you can add this one too and this one now let's go to card page you see the total price is calculated here now let's change the quantity you can see the price is recalculated here also here as total so for this one it works perfectly and you can remove the item from cart here and it recalculates the price now let's go to checkout page here we can select payment method you can see there is no submit button for placing order now as soon as you select any payment method the button will appear this is a validation form validation okay you click here and button appears still it is disabled because form fields once will be filled perfectly the button will appear to be submitted 
if you go here and type nothing it will show you the validation message now let's fill the form properly and place the order you see as soon as the form is filled perfectly and the button appears to be submitted now let's submit the button here order is successfully placed you can see the order amount i used same information for billing and shipping for simplicity now we can check the order at admin here you can see order has been received one minute ago let's go to order details page and you can see the quantity price everything is perfect so this is the complete web store app that can be integrated with your WooCommerce website just right now and compiled to Android and iOS app to submit App Store and Play Store. Now let's go to orders page. Here you can see all the order placed by this user. It is listed perfectly. In my account page you can see the user details here. Okay. We can move to simulator now. Here, this is iPhone 6, 7, 8 simulator. And that's how it looks like the product page. Products are listed here perfectly. You can see categories also in the same way clicking on category brings product clicking on product brings to the details page you see order placed so there is no item in cart right now you can add item to cart from here and go to cart page as well as go to checkout page and place order from here the button is not appeared as soon as you select a payment method button appears here once you fill all the form properly, the button will be appear to be submitted. Here you can see your account information, orders, as well as go back to home. This is the Android view. It just looks a bit bigger so here you can see all the information is almost same card page checkout page so I think you got a quite a good idea how I have developed this app perfectly and I am ready to develop your app with your custom functions and requirements okay not just wordpress and woocommerce based ionic angular apps if you need any hybrid app solution then no worries i have solution for that as well i will create custom rest api and give the bullet train speed to your website and mobile apps right away so feel free to contact me for any hybrid app solutions using ionic and angular Thank you.